hello youtube welcome back to my video in this video i'm going to show you how to start uh, programming with java and uh, how to run your first program okay now uh, in, this is a brand new pc i don't have any java installed in this pc i'll show you the step by step uh, how to run a, a hello world program from uh, java and i'll be running this from command prompt uh, before uh, running this we have to set up uh, some configuration in our computer i'll be showing that also here we go so the first step here is uh, install uh, jdk in your pc so jdk is nothing but uh, it stands for uh, java development kit so it's a java development kit so you should uh, install java development kit in your pc so it depends on the platform which you are using my is uh, windows uh, 10 in my pc so check uh, what uh, version of your uh, windows is i can check it from right click your uh, windows uh, the my computer and go into properties here you can see uh, whether your operation system is 64 bit and uh, what the windows is uh, there in your pc so mine is windows 10 uh, 64 bit now we have to download uh, java development kit for windows 10 64 bit operating system for that just go into your browser and uh, search for uh, jdk uh, windows 10 64-bit okay so once you search it uh, you will get uh, the first link itself to download it now it is here okay uh, java sc developing development kit 8 so it is the current version of uh, jdk available so just go down and uh, take down your jdk now my, our jdk is uh, so this is the two version we will go for the sc development kit 8u144 so here it is yeah our it is windows x64 which means uh, 64 bit and they will be downloading this so just accept license agreement here and just click download now i think it will ask for no it is not ask for sign up just uh, download your jdk so it is 198 mb here you can see here so it will take some time i am posting my video till uh, the download comes yes uh, the jdk 8u144 for uh, windows 64 bit i have downloaded here now i'm going to install that for installing just double click on that so on uh, double clicking that it will ask for user account control just click yes so you will get uh, this installation uh, welcome installation wizard screen uh, you can see here this is a java development kit 8 update 144 just click next here and uh, let it all be default it will be installed in this location uh, c drive program file java jdk and just click next i am going for the default location and uh, wait for the installation uh, to be completed we have uh, started the installation it, is, it will be quick it's, it won't take much time because it's uh, very uh, jdk is not much bigger as the normal java runtime just wait for some time so in the middle of the installation process uh, it will ask for installing the java runtime environment which is java uh, actually this java runtime environment additional add-on with uh, jdk because J jre or J java runtime environment is needed for compiling and running a java based applications and uh, programs so we have to install this also and now go uh, this is the installation path i have set uh, it is the default one and just click next and uh, wait for the jre that is java runtime environment to be installed the installation is still going on it says uh, java is running in 3 billion devices run on java uh, recently the java has been uh, taken by oracle and it, that's why it's coming here the, the java development platform and uh, and log of oracle because uh, java has been took over by oracle yes uh, the final uh, message has been come uh, the java sc development kit that is uh, the java development kit has been uh, successfully installed now we don't need to go for the next step uh, to take the tutorials okay uh, let's uh, go and check uh, the installation uh, install programs here here you can see the sc development kit and the java 8 is the jre so these two we have installed now and we'll see uh, the installation install directory it might be in here 
in j d k n is there and j r is there now i'm gonna write a java program and run in my command prompt okay so i i'm not going to install in editor i have uh, done another video for that please check the description you can have it i'm gonna write a java program in my desktop a uh, hello world java program and uh, let's try running there so to create a java program just create a new notepad file and uh, just uh, give a name as uh, hello world world and uh, world and uh, remove the text extension to java so it should be a java file and just click enter it will uh, ask the confirmation whether you want to change the extension just click yes now this is a hello world dot java now open this in a notepad now i'm going to write uh, the code for the hello world project it is a public class hello world it should be same as the uh, the file name okay so better copy the same file name here and open a brace and close that now inside this i am going to write a main method so it is a public static void main and uh, the main should have a string argument array of string argument so it is string args okay now open the brace and again close it now inside this i'm gonna write a to print uh, some so uh, to print the value it should be a uh, system dot out dot println and inside this one i'm gonna write into quotes hello world please uh, like and subscribe okay so i have written my message also now i'm going to save this one now i need to run this uh, from my command prompt okay so before running that we should uh, compile this one and uh, the uh, compile this one compiling is only uh, to check whether if uh, if we have any errors in uh, the program so uh, better always compile and then run if you are going doing this for first time uh, now to compile uh, the program the code for that is uh, this is the keyword java uh, java c and c stands for compiler and uh, the name and hello world dot java okay so first uh, execute this command uh, in command from and then execute java hello world okay so this should run in command prompt okay uh, let me open my command prompt just search for cmd new start uh, start menu here it is now i want to navigate the location of the desktop so location of the desktop i should get it from here i'm not sure from here let me try it's not here actually it will be in no wait i'll cut this one and uh, put it in f drive for our easiness i'm putting in f drive paste it here okay now go into f drive f drive wait what's happening yeah go into f drive and now let's uh, try this java c hello world if i am putting this one and uh, giving enter this is coming in error java c is not a recognized internal or external command uh, this is because we don't we have not added a java c in the environment variable we are not going to add that i have another video and uh, in that video i'll show you what is the need of uh, adding it in the uh, env in environment variable. okay since it is not added in the environment variable we should take uh, this uh, java program to the location where our java c uh, command our uh, exe is that it is our we have installed our jdk so it's in c drive program files java and jdk and inside the bin we have a uh, java c i guess yeah here it is java c we are going to execute this application now i'm pasting the our program here uh, just click continue and give the access right now hello world application is uh, here now i'm going to navigate our command prompt so to navigate to this location uh, open command prompt again so it will be in a uh, c drive users here so just copy this path and uh, come back to here and just 
uh, write cd space in double quote just space our uh, location so yeah it will be and now just click enter so it will go to this part you can see here a program files uh, java and the jdk 144 and uh, bin okay now just execute this command java c hello world and just click enter now it is gonna compile our program it is actually compiling our program if in yes there is an error uh, error while writing hello world class access is denied yes this is coming because it's in c drive we should sort our command probe in administrator mode for that just give run as administrator in the command prompt to ask for your user account control just click yes now just uh, go to this uh, the location same location this one just give two codes and paste our location there just click enter now copy the command just paste it here and just click enter now let's see yes our program has been uh, compiled successfully and you can see here there is a dot class file has been generated so the dot class file has been generated successfully which means our compilation is successful now if i execute java hello world just copy this one come here and paste it here oh, wait there's some to paste it go to edit and paste it here no it's not coming wait i'll write it again manually hello world okay just write this one and just press enter yes here it is uh the output of our java file hello world please like and subscribe which is our uh which what we have given in the java okay now if i'm trying to remove uh, this uh, class file i'm deleting this one and let's see and again i'm uh, just uh, trying to run uh, the java hello world same command let's see what was there coming here it is i could not load or find main class so the class uh, after compiling a class file is generated and that class file is getting loaded on uh, taking on executing the java uh, with the, the command only uh, java okay so keep in mind uh, this is how uh, this is uh, how we run our java the our first hello world java uh, program so this is done uh, through command prompt we can use uh, java development editors like eclipse or netbeans i have given the uh, in the description how to uh, download and install eclipse or netbeans you can uh, have a look on that and i have uh, given the videos for first java program uh, through a netbeans and eclipse so if you have any doubt in this uh, please comment below i'll be helping you and uh, please like and subscribe for my videos and uh, thanks for watching